Well on everyone, my name is Kunji and this is Cooking with Kunji. Today I'm making a Jamaican Christmas special sorrel. On the channel, one of my first videos that I put up was a sorrel video. This one is going to be better. I have more time to prep the sorrel. I have a lot more ginger and cinnamon all that stuff so this this sorrel is going to be really more rich and this is going to be going in a fermentation process until christmas time so you guys are going to get to see when i open that stay tuned see how i make this macaroni wood sorrel is usually found here in the states in the hispanic stores or Asian stores and it's usually known as hibiscus it is a red flower that we call sorrel in Jamaica and that is predominantly available during the Christmas season this is what we're gonna be making I'm gonna show you how we put this together and how we store it and wait for it to ferment for Christmas time So this is super rich right now. I might have to add a little bit of water to it. So I'm going to blend the ginger and the sorrel to get that rich ginger flavor, that ginger spice that we love in the sorrel. So what I did was give the sorrel and the ginger a slight blend just to agitate those um, leaves and the shredded ginger and the pieces of ginger in there to give it an extra boost of flavor. You don't need to do the shredding. You don't need to do the blending. I'm just doing it, you know, to give it a little boost of flavor. And I just, each batch I just did for about 30 seconds on pulse, um, nothing crazy. So right now I'm gonna sweeten the drink and granulated sugar is preferred because it's a, a sweeter sweet and you will use less of this. With the brown sugar you'll use a lot more and it takes a longer time to get um, sweet. So with this, you get to the sweet spot quicker. Now, this took almost four pounds of sugar, but this is two gallons. So. Sweet, that ginger spice, and the cinnamon. All right. So now, all I gotta do is add rum. And you will add rum to your taste. Just add rum. So I've never used 
a brown rum with this. I've grown up using the overproof rum. That's what was readily available in Jamaica, but I mean, you can experiment with the recipe and see if another rum works for you. But this is, this is the king of Jamaican rum. So putting the sorrel for fermentation, there's some steps you wanna follow. Need to have some allspice or pimento, as we know it in Jamaica. You need about a tablespoon of rice, just plain rice, doesn't have to be any special rice. And you just want that to just be enough to cover the bottom of the bottle. That will help with the fermentation process. What I add as a little bonus is just pieces of ginger to help keep that ginger flavor in there. And that's gonna be really delicious when we're done. So to recap today's video, um, overnight, as for 24 hours, what I did, used hot water and brew these hibiscus leaves along with some shredded ginger, pieces of ginger, some cinnamon leaves and cinnamon sticks, and just let that sit overnight. Tonight, just gave it slight blend just to agitate those flavors, squeeze and drain them with some cheesecloth, and now what I'm doing is bottling with some allspice berries, some rice grains, and some ginger, and store that in a cool, dark place for about two months and give it some time to ferment and create that delicious sorrel wine for Christmas. So we've come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video today. Steps and ingredients are gonna be in the description below. At Christmas, I'm also gonna be doing a tasting of this drink. So look out for that on my Instagram. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.